I'm Angeline from Mandai Wildlife Group. Welcome to River Wonders, where you can get up close with our amazing freshwater animals and connect with nature. In this episode, you will discover the interesting characteristics of giant fish species that call the Mekong River home. I will also introduce three activities that you can conduct on your own. These activities are crafted to enhance your children's observation skills, encourage the development of gross motor skills, and promote focus and self-control. You should allow at least 30 minutes to conduct all the suggested activities at the exhibit. After the gantry, make a left turn and begin your journey by following the sheltered walkway towards the Mekong River. Along the way, you will find many freshwater animals that come in all shapes and sizes. Look out for tarpons, colourful cichlids, and the Indian garrel. As you move from exhibit to exhibit, keep your children focused to look for giant fishes. They can compare or describe the sizes of various fishes that they see along the way. Factor in about 30 minutes for the stroll. Gather your children at this empty space here. This is a good spot to share with your children the three essential agreements otherwise known as Child Behaviour Guidelines. Here's what you can say to them. Say it like I do. To see animals well, we need to do three things. One, stay close to one another. Two, use our looking eyes to observe the animals. Three, keep our hands to ourselves, especially when standing in front of the tanks. Remember, that knocking on glass tanks will startle or scare the animals. Activity 1. Mekong Giants I'm standing in front of Mekong River Exhibit, where your children can come up close to fascinating giant fishes. Passing through six countries, this is the longest river in Southeast Asia. Here, you and your children can marvel at some of the world's largest freshwater fishes. If you look up, you will see models of three giant fishes. These models show how big they can grow. Begin your see, think, wonder activity to enhance the observation and critical thinking skills of your children. Say it like I do. Let's spend some time here to observe this massive exhibit. It's the size of four double-decker buses. Get up close to the Mekong giant catfish giant freshwater stingray and the Siamese carp. Can you match the models with the fishes in the tank? Can you spot the giant freshwater stingray? Describe its body. How do you think its body helps it to look for food? I wonder which part of the river it lives in. Look for a giant fish with shiny scales. This is the Siamese carp. Describe its mouth. Show me how you think it eats. I wonder if its food is found near the top of the water. Find the fish with smooth black skin. This is the Mekong giant catfish. Do you think it eats the same way as the other two fishes? I wonder what it is. By drawing parallels between a diversity of fish in the exhibit, you can help preschoolers develop a greater appreciation for the richness of the world around them. Activity 2. Move like a fish. This next activity will help your children to practice focus and self-control when they follow one fish and observe it. Say it like I do. Choose one fish in the exhibit. Keep your eyes on that fish. Try to imitate the way it swims. Now, when you hear me say swim, show me how your fish moves. When you hear me say eat, show me how you think your fish might eat. And when you hear me say stop, everyone stops. Ready? Swim! You can modify this activity by adding variations to your instructions like swim quickly and Swim backwards. Activity 3. Back to school. In Activity 2, as your children are moving around, get them to look around and find one friend who is moving the same way as them. 
The next game promotes working memory and the skills for collaboration and teamwork. When they identify a friend who swims the same way, get them to ask the friend, What fish are you? If they are imitating the same fish, get them to swim together to look for more friends who are swimming the same way as them. Continue swimming until everyone has found their schools of fish. In their own fish school, get the children to arrange themselves into the shape of the fish that they are imitating. To conclude your visit to the Mekong River, invite them to move like that animal on their way out of the zone. You can click the link below which leads to a website that lists the animals in this zone. Check out the tip sheet for more resource links.